We are going to solve this differential equation along with an initial condition, and with this initial condition, we get to solve for the c value. Here we have du over dt is equal to 2t plus secant squared t all over 2u. If we multiply both sides by 2u and multiply both sides by dt, we get uh, all the u's and du together on one side and the, all the t's and dt together on the other side. Let's make that happen first. So multiplying 2u on both sides, we get 2u du on the left hand side and this is equal to bring the dt to the uh, right hand side. We have 2t plus secant squared t dt. So we can integrate both sides now. Integral of 2u is just u squared, and we don't need to worry about putting down the plus c. And this is equal to integral of 2t is t squared, and that's plus. Integral of secant squared is tangent, uh, tangent of t. And then here we put down a plus c. Well, we have u squared is equal to this expression. Let's take the square on both sides. So we can isolate um, the u expression. And we have u equals to plus or minus square root of t squared plus tangent of t plus c. And no more d will be done. But then here we are given an initial condition. We must make sure that this initial condition comes to play right here with our equation that we have. With that being said, this initial condition means we have u of 0. That means when t is equal to 0, we must have the u value to be negative 5. And with this initial condition, we can also make a decision on should we keep the plus square root or should we keep the minus of the square root. So let's just plug in the values into the u and the t. Negative 5 goes into the u, so let me write down negative pi, and this is equal to plus or minus square root of plugging t is equal to zero, okay? So that's zero square plus tangent of zero plus c. And now, can we make a decision on shall we keep the positive or shall we keep a negative? We should keep the negative because on the left-hand side we have a negative already, this is a negative five. And remember, the output of a square root is always going to be positive. So we are going to actually get rid of the positive version. This way, negative match with negative, OK? And we will see that we have negative 5. This is equal to negative square root. 0 squared is 0. Tangent 0 is 0. And we just have a c inside. Negative 5 is equal to negative square root of c. Of course, we can divide both sides by a negative 1. And we end up with positive 5 is equal to positive square root of c after get rid of the negative on both sides. And we can square root both sides. We get c is equal to positive 25. Well, we get a c. And now this is how we are going to write down the answer. This is the general form where we got rid of the positive version already. And I just have to plug in 25 into the c right here. And that will be the answer u will be negative square root t square plus tangent of t and the c value is equal to positive 25 and this right here is the answer that's it